Bombardier's rail division includes 3,700 employees in Canada, some at plants like this one in La Pocatière, Quebec, where the mayor is optimistic. Seems like a good deal, says Sylvain Houdon. Bombardier is selling its rail division to the French company Alstom, the latest move to manage its crippling debt. Now the once giant company will only make business jets. Bombardier is going to have a much smaller footprint, uh, but hopefully it will be more agile and it will be able to compete on global markets. As part of the deal, Quebec's pension fund manager becomes a major Alstom shareholder at 18 percent, and Alstom says it will make Montreal its headquarters for the Americas. The ability for Alstom to develop the North American market, Bombardier, is enhanced, and hence for the employment capabilities in Montreal are great. Bombardier has received millions in government investments and loans, and its CEO says the money wasn't wasted. When you take big risk on big projects like that, you know, sometimes, I mean, it doesn't pan out to be exactly what you want, uh, what you wanted in the first place. So, but when you look, when we looked at this now, in retrospect, we are at a much better place today. Workers at this Thunder Bay Bombardier plant have been through ownership changes before. The union hopes Alstom keeps it running. We've uh, been building uh, high quality cars throughout all these owners. And uh, also we were working with Bombardier for over 20 years. So, um, at the end of the day, uh, we are, we're productive no matter whose flag is uh, flying outside the plant. The Union for Some Quebec Workers says it hopes for a growth in rail projects to keep its members working, even if it's not for a Quebec-owned company. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.